Hello, my name is uh, Jack and I work with the American Lung Association of the Upper Midwest. Today we're going to talk about how to test your home with a do-it-yourself radon test kit. From the American Lung Association, we have two types of test kits. One is our short-term test kit and one is our long-term test kit. Our short-term test kit can be used for three to seven days to test for radon. Our long-term test kit is actually tested for 90 days to a year. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to test your home with a short-term test kit. So when you order a test kit from the American Lung Association, you'll receive your test kit in an envelope like this. After you receive your envelope, the first thing you want to do is check the contents. Inside, you should find your test kit information, instructions for your test kit, a black sponge, the test kit itself, and other helpful tips provided by the American Lung Association. So now that we've checked that our contents of our test kit are all there, next we should look at deciding which room we want to test. For short-term test kits, you don't want to put it in rooms where humidity can change, like the kitchen, laundry room, or storage rooms. Instead, we would recommend that you test rooms that you use more often, like the living room, your bedroom, or maybe even a recreational room. It is, however, important to choose a room in the lowest livable area of the home. If you are actually using this test kit as a follow-up test, we would recommend that you place it in a similar position as your first test, unless your first test was done in an unrecommended room, in which case we would recommend that you move it to a recommended room like a bedroom or living room close to the area that you did your first test. So now we're going to fill out the required information on our test kit. First, at the top, you're going to write in your name, your address, your city, state, and zip. And if you happen to have an email address or a fax number, you can write it on the line here. And this will get your test results returned to you quicker than without one. So next, we are going to circle our start date. On the left hand side there are numbers 1 to 31. This represents the days of the month. In our case we are going to start our test date here on the 23rd. So we are going to circle 23. Next we are going to now look at the start clock. Here we are going to circle the closest hour to our starting time. We see we are going to start our time around 9:10 a.m. So we are going to circle the 9 on our starting clock. We are now ready to place our test. To start our test kit, we first need to open it. So what you're going to do is we're going to take our hands on each side and we are going to pinch it open. Inside, you are going to be able to see a brown paper bag. Inside this brown paper bag is the activated charcoal. This charcoal collects radon decay products, which a laboratory will then examine and determine your radon concentration in your home. So here we are now in the room you want to test. For the best results, you should try to place the test kit as close to the center of the room as possible. Ideally, you would like to hang the test. But you could also hang the test kit from a stool or table using some tape. You want to place the test kit between two to six feet off the ground or in the breathable zone. You want to place the test kit somewhere where it will not be disturbed for the testing period. When placing the test kit, make sure the opening of the test kit is not obstructed in any way. The test kit should be at least three feet away from any furnaces, water heaters, washer dryers, 
sump pits or sump pumps, windows, and any doors open into the outside. You also want to make sure to keep all the windows closed during the testing period and to keep exterior doors closed except for normal use. Now leave the test kit up for three to seven days. Now it's been three to seven days. You now will take down your test kit. You can now discard the black foam piece. Inside the mouth of the test kit you should see a white strip. Remove this and press firmly on each side to seal the test kit. You are now ready to finish filling out the required information. Now, just like when we started the test, we are now going to circle our ending date and our ending time. For our example, we are ending our test on the 27th. So we are going to circle 27 on the right hand side of our test kit. For our end in time, we decided to end our test at 1.40 p.m. So we are going to circle the closest hour. In our case, this is going to be 2 p.m. or 14. Next, we are going to now answer the six questions below the clocks. First, we are going to circle the average temperature. Uh, you're going to do this to the closest 10. Our average temperature in the room was around 72 degrees, so we are going to circle 70. Next, you want to circle what floor you test in. In our case, we tested the first floor, so we are going to circle first. Next, you want to check and see if your house was closed house conditions were met. For this, you need to answer just two questions. One, were your windows closed during the entire time of the test? Second, was the doors to the exterior closed during the testing period except for normal use? If you answered yes to both these questions, you can circle yes for closed house conditions. Next, if you tested over a crawl space, you need to indicate if you closed the crawl space vents. In our case, we did not have a crawl space, so we are going to circle NA. Next, what was this testing for? In our case, this was our first time testing, so we are going to circle first time. Last, you're going to need to circle if you have read the instructions. If you had followed our video, you can circle yes here. You have now finished completing your required information. You are now ready to mail your test. Before you mail the test kit, we recommend that you double check to make sure all the information is filled out correctly on the back of the test kit. We also recommend that you write the test kit number down somewhere because this can be used to check your results online. Before you mail your test, make sure to cut off the plastic hook, The air check test kit comes with prepaid postage, so the test kit can be placed in your mailbox or dropped off at your local post office. After you send in your test kit, you should receive your test results usually within two weeks or sooner if you provided an email or fax number. Thank you for watching our video on how to test your home using a short term test kit. If you have any questions or want more information about radon, feel free to visit our website, www.healthhouse.org. You can also order a test kit through this website as well.